hello beautiful souls and welcome back or to my channel today i have the sugar muses luxa box let's go ahead and jump right in it does come just like this so it's nice and discreet um i got their sugar muses uh midnight muses um box just recently and i really really like this so i'm hoping this one's gonna be um just as pleasurable because if so, I'm going to probably switch to these, uh, this company. Um, I really, really enjoyed their Midnight Muses box. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And this is the August box. So when we open, this is what we have. Hold on, let me make sure the camera is, uh, okay. Seems like the camera's all in focus okay oh the theme is I don't want to see the contents the theme is uh, the witches familiar and I've been talking about that a lot lately so we're gonna put this aside because this is these spoilers so we will start with some beautiful artwork oh my gosh I love this because my cat is black um, beautiful, beautiful artwork pages. The witch is familiar. According to legend, familiars act as guides who take the form of an animal on earth. They are loyal guardians and protectors to witches who are sent to assist as well as perform their own magic. The magical history of the cat has its roots in ancient Egypt where they were greatly Revered, revered, and worshipped as divine beings. Basta is the Egyptian goddess of protection and good luck. Cats are usually the first animal we think about that can act as a witch's familiar. Mysterious and frequently associated with the powers of luck and magic, they seem to be the perfect companion for witches. Dogs, toads, snakes, birds, and other animals can also act as a familiar. It is said when your cat is with you during spell casting, the magic will be doubled. Cat whiskers, shed naturally, are said to be good luck charms. Still looking for your familiar? Well, it seems they will just sort of find you. Ask the universe when the time is right. There they will be. Um, I truly believe um, <clears throat> that my cat is definitely my familiar. Um, he's definitely my companion. He's like one of my best friends. His name is Nico. Um, when I am upset or when I have come home from a procedure, a medical procedure or something, um, he is right on top of me. He's right there. He does not do that with anyone else in the house. Whenever I light candles, whenever I start any ritual work, he is right there. <clears throat> he loves my little herbal spot when I walk over to that because he has his own jar of catnip there. So he really loves that. Um, I was actually on a, um, it's like a telehealth meeting with my therapist the other day. Um, a little personal. I do, I am in therapy um, because of the loss of my sister. So, um, you know, I just, I thought it may help, but anyways, um, I had started crying because I still can't really talk about her and, uh, he came running up and jumped on my lap and my therapist was like, oh, wow. And I explained to her, I was like, yeah, anytime I'm upset or anything, this is what he does. So he's, he's my boy. Oh, wow. Look at this card. Oh. I am not sure what this deck is, but I absolutely have to know. Look at this card. It's the star card, one of my favorite cards, and it's a black cat. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. I can't wait to find out what deck this is. Okay, so um, here we have the beautiful gold wrap. Looks very interesting. I'm going to set this over here, though, so that we can put all the goodies over here where everything can be seen. So right off the top of the box, we have Pet Protection Spell Kit. 
So you're getting a whole um, spell kit here. You guys can see that. And in this little kit, there's lots of little goodies. A black candle. A pentacle charm. I have tons. Pet protection. Dried herb. And it, oh, it smells really good. Then we have the lovers. <laughs> little tarot card there of cat. And then we have the spell instructions, which I won't show those only because I respect the companies. Um, and, you know, I feel like people need to purchase the items in order to see, I mean, everything, you know, like the rituals and, and such. I mean, some people will just show everything and I'm like, oh, that's just so wrong. But, hey, to each their own. I don't. So I'll show all the items in the box, but I don't um, show the rituals and such. Um, they're obviously created and sold, you know, and as well as the, um, the cheat sheet. I don't always read everything that's on there because I feel, you know, people need to purchase the box. Look at this little bundle. These are so pretty. I got one in my uh, Midnight Muses box, too, and I thought it was just so pretty. I put it on my main altar. Here we have a white candle. It does appear to be dressed with some herbs. Mm, I love these candles. I don't burn them enough because they, they do burn right down, and it leaves quite the... Uh, quite the... Um, stack of uh well we have some smaller things i'm gonna hold off on the bigger thing at the moment and get these smaller things out of the way i always like to open the bigger things last so here we have cat mint organic dried herb food grade so i'm guessing this is a tea Ingredients, catnip, leaf, and flour, caffeine-free. Yes, so this <clears throat> this is a tea. Then we have, oh, it's got two of something in there. This little uh, beige uh, sachet, organza bag, whatever you like to call it. Ooh. Pretty. I'm thinking something maybe cat's eye or something, but I don't know what they are. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're pretty little stones. We shall find out. Oh, in the paperwork. Let's not chip them. We have Egyptian musk. Um, incense sticks. Get a good little number of them. Oh, they smell really good. The only thing with these is they don't smell like they smell in the package when you're burning them. Oh my gosh, you guys could only smell those. Oh, they smell divine. Okay, let's see. Oh, we still got more stuff here. And more. And more. Okay, here's the tea bag for the tea. So let's set that under there. Um, we have another herb here, cat's claw. I don't have any of that. I've been wanting some, so now I don't have to go in and order it. Didn't we get two herbs? No, we had an herb in the kit. And then we have the tea. Okay, let's see. Make sure we're not missing anything here. I know we've got this biggie. All right, let's see. This must be our um, oil. Bastet Ritual Oil. Love it. 
let's have a sniff. Mm. I don't want to put any on my skin, but it's a very, very, very light scent. I can't even describe it. Maybe my nose just isn't working the best right now, but um, I can't even describe it. I can't really smell it, honestly. Okay, and our last item is this big item. Let's see what they've got. If we can get into it. <clears throat> a little hefty, whatever it is. I'm thinking, it just crossed my mind, either uh, basket related or cat related some way. I totally wouldn't mind. <gasps> it is. Oh my goodness. And I don't have. Oh my goodness. It's a candle holder. Look how beautiful. I don't think it's Bastet. But wow. It's a very nice high quality uh, statue. And we have some type of print there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I definitely um, am loving these boxes from Sugar Muses and I definitely will be sticking with them. Wow, that is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Where can I set that? Let's set it here. Oh my goodness. Let me just double check this box and make sure because there were lots of things hiding in there and I just knocked the camera. Okay, let's get the box out of the way. Well, I can say that this month um, Sugar Muses definitely uh, was very pleasing. Oh my goodness that statue. Okay, let's go through the items. Take a peek at what we've got going on here. Contents. Egy Egyptian musk incense. Oh no. That, sorry, that is these incense sticks. Then we have the, Bas the Bastet Ritual Oil. Organic Dried Cat's Claw. Tumbled Bloodstone. That's what these are. Tumbled Bloodstone. They don't look the same though. There's reds and such in this one and it's like a lot more grayer. And then over here we have a lighter gray with like a darker brown. So, hmm, that's interesting. Then we have the little botanical bundle, sacred space beeswax candle, feline candle holder. Oh my goodness, my favorite piece out of the box. Pet protection spell kit, which is here. I'm excited to do that with my Mr. Nico. Then we have the organic cat mint tea, Basta art, print, art prints, the witch's familiar art print, and then the intuitively drawn tarot card. So I'm hoping they tell us what deck that comes from. So here we have a lot of information on the history. The feline is a fascinating animal. So a lot of uh, history on the cat, which is familiar. Okay, let's see here.
intuitively drawn tarot card. For more info about your card and the deck it was drawn from, search for the Gold and Black Cat Tarot by Helen De Almeida on SugarMuses.com. Hmm. And I really love, you know, the meaning too. So these are all, you know, the Egyptian um, incense sticks, the best at ritual oils, powerful way of dedicating yourself and your magical components with energies corresponding to your intent. Organic dried cat's claw, tumbled bloodstone, the Egyptians prized bloodstone because they believed it would help them magically defeat their enemies. And the botanical bundles, including M. Oh my goodness, some of these words today. Amobium flower, caspia flower, pearly everlasting, and yarrow. The amobium flowers, I can't pronounce that, are associated with healing, protection, and prosperity. Caspia. Flowers are a sign of achievement and success. They are often used to convey feelings of happiness after a successful event in your life. Pearl Everlasting, also known as the Life Everlasting, is part of the Aster Daisy Flower family. It smells cute. <laughs> cute. When they're dried and preserved, they can last a long time. So they'll look pretty on one of my little altars here. Um, then we have the Sacred Space Beeswax Candle, hand rolled and dressed with dried yarrow. Feline cat holder can be placed on your altar or in a special spot to watch over and, oh, to watch over and protect your space. Cats in general represent grace, intelligence, Cunning, independence, magic, protection, and good luck. Mm -hmm. Then we have the pet protection spell kit, and it tells you the contents in there. Then we have the organic cat mint tea. I don't drink tea. I can't because of I'm on so many medications, so unfortunately I can't drink it. Then we have the witches familiar, uh, witches familiar and Basta art prints. So this was such a nice box. Thousands of years ago, cats were worshipped as gods. Cats have never forgotten this. What a beautiful box. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely think I'm going to keep going with um, Sugar Muses and I may have to eliminate something else. But um, they have been both boxes. I mean, I've ordered from them way back when. But I think I only did one time, and if I did, it's here on my channel somewhere. But I decided to, you know, something told me to get their boxes this month, and um, I'm really glad I did. Look at this guy. He's just the best. So I'm going to cleanse this stuff and put it where it belongs. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, take care and blessed be.